cram in one and a half hours of music into Sounds of Gnome and like almost four hours of music into his master's noise. And uh, well, the more the merrier, so that's... If you're one of those people who uh, subscribe to Spotify, maybe you notice that they use kind of 320 kilobits per second to transmit their audio. In here we have an audio compression of 1.2 kilobits per second, so we kind of save quite a lot of space because one disc, 880 kilobytes, and still you have one and a half hours of music. His master's noise, even though using double the data, has had more than twice the length of music. So, we are so, the highway of Det här var ju då en av mina första datorer, så jag tänkte så att jag med Blues dator. Ja. Jag tänkte se om den funkar, för att de har gjort en jättedum grej här. Om man tittar här, då har vi då mikrofon in mm. och eh, ljud ut. Det är för att kunna spara ladda program genom yes. att load och save. Men powerkontakten på 9 volt, den ser exakt likadan ut och det är en 3,5 mm. Aha. Så min gissning är att någon har tagit powerkontakten och stoppat i den i, i fel ingång. Och där genom att sönder någonting. Mm. Sen har den egentligen bara antennsignalet, mm. så en tv med antenn, kanalväljare. Mm. Så vi ser se om vi kan få igång den här bilen Ja, igen. fortsättning för dig. Ja, absolut. Ja. Tack. teams I've worked with, not just Sensible, but other teams, and we're only going to really do the Sensible stuff mostly today, but on average, about one in three games just died and never made it to the public domain. So I'm going to go through those games and explain to you the Sensible software games that never saw the light of day uh, commercially. So, this is how it started out, right? So, as every game starts out, it's normally, for me, like a picture on a, on a piece of paper with a pencil. And the idea here was to, the very much inspiration of Sex, Drugs and Rock and Roll was uh, kind of like Leisure Suit Larry in Monkey Island.
Saigo, by the way. My name is my normal name is Kim, and I'm Diablo, and uh, my normal name is Penny. We have been, as you heard, away from the scene for many, many years, or at least that's what people think, because we've been working with this stuff for many years after, but we kind of disappeared from the scene, and I think a lot of people think that we just like went away. So I think it's funny to sit here now for, for both of us and, and talk about this after so many years. It's 28 years, I think, right? Something like that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually the neighbor city to where we grew up. So we were like so close to where it was. We didn't have to travel anywhere. And that was the. Thank you. 